All right, well, it's National Pet Dental Health Month and National Cat Health Month. So in today's Bentley and Friends, I brought my baby boy Chancey in for a checkup to learn more about how important cat dental health truly is. The most significant disease that house cats face is dental disease. 50 to 90% of cats four years or older are going to have some type of significant dental problem. Cats are very stoic, so they don't like to show us signs of disease. So it's rare that they're gonna bite oddly or chew funny or something that you're gonna pick up because they're very stealthy and often they're nocturnal, so they're doing a lot of that at night. Bad breath, lack of eating, sensitivity around their mouth, and super red gums are all signs of feline dental disease. And here are the three main causes. The red, puffy, swollen area of the gums and the reason that gets there is because there's bacteria on the teeth that stays and so that bacteria turns to plaque, the plaque then turns to tartar and as the tartar sits there it's full of bacteria. This is when there's a breakdown of the connective tissue fibers that's holding the tooth in the socket. So once we start to break that down and now the tooth's not being held in the socket well, that tooth is loose and mobile. That's irreversible. There's nothing we can do to make that better. That's like a big honking cavity that you've got like a Pac-Man walking through, eating away at the enamel. And so it basically turns the tooth into Swiss cheese. Ouch. So what's the best solution to prevent this from happening to your cat? Taking them to the vet ASAP. After that initial checkup, the doctor will let you know if at-home brushing is a good idea. And if a cat toothbrush doesn't work, try a finger brush like the one you see here. And always use feline-specific toothpaste. Happy National Pet Dental Health Month from me and my baby boy, Chansey. And a new Bentley and Friends airs every Tuesday on Daybreak. If you have a story idea for us, reach out on Facebook.